So you may remember these little touch sensors that I got in a mail bag a couple weeks ago. I'm playing with them in the process of trying to make a control panel for my model railroad and I'm having a few little weirdnesses with them so I thought I'd do a bit of digging. Now I think I figured out what my problem is. I thought initially that they were too close to each other that they might be interfering with each other but that's not the case. The case is that when I mount them on a piece of wood they start sensing that wood and here's the actual stuff that I'm using to make the control panel. Even if my hand's not on it hmm. and actually I even tried with this just little piece of wood balanced up on some PLA, some 3D printed stuff and yeah so it's sensing the actual panel. So I went digging through the data sheet and actually I remembered uh, somebody in the video, uh, I don't have it handy, uh, somebody in the video where I unboxed these things pointed out that the pads, there's a couple of pads that aren't in use on them. Um, this pair of pads up here, if you put a capacitor across them, of different of various different sizes you can adjust the sensitivity of this thing and then the other two sets of pads that I mentioned on there from before A and B those control whether it's active high or active low and whether it's what was the other thing oh latching right so short one pad and it becomes a latching so touch on touch off the other one uh, normally, as in right now, it's active high, so it goes high when it senses a touch, which is why that LED goes on. If I was to short that one, and I can't remember which one's which. Okay, yeah, found it. So the A pads are the active high, active low, and the B pads are the latch, unlatch, or the latch or momentary. So it naturally comes with both pads open. So it's momentary and and uh, active high. But that's kind of an aside. The important thing I think to solve my problem is these two pads up here to put a capacitor across. Now then the data sheet says that to adjust it you need a capacitor between zero which is what it is right now, and 50 picofarads. Unfortunately, I don't have a 50 picofarads capacitor. I got microfarads capacitors, I got nanofarads capacitors, and out of my assortment, the smallest one I have is, I'm pretty sure that's like 220 picofarads, which this purpose is not helpful. Yeah, 198 within the per percentage, so that's 220 picofarads according to the bag. And according to what's the number on it? Uh, we gotta go magnifying glass mode here. Yeah, 22 and 10, so 220. Puff. I do have some other random capacitors in the back here is from an assortment pack that I don't even remember where I got it but I'm pretty sure I need a bigger workbench you know what what's that say that says 102k let's see what the magic meter says 900 picofarads. What does it call itself? 102? So that's probably a thousand picofarads. Why would they call it? Anyway, whatever. So the closest I've got, and that's the smallest out of that assortment there. Um, what's that? 103, 473. Yeah, that's, those are all huge. So I guess 
I'll try this 220 Pico Ferret and just see if it'll do the job. It might, it might not. It might just completely desensitize it to nothing. But hey, what's uh, what's Saturday night for, if not for tinkering and experimenting? Let's just see how helpful this helping hands can actually be. Aha! I know people get down on these things, but look at that, it works. All right, now let's see what happens. Actually, I'll move that further away from that guy again, just so I got some room. And on. So now then. Oh. It does work. I have to be on it for a second even. Okay, how about Woody here? Oh, hey. Now then, will it work with a little bit of thickness above it with my finger there? No. Hmm. Work with thickness of paper. No. Okay. This one obviously does. Okay, so that's way too much capacitance. But we knew that, right? But I'm on the right track. So. So let's try it with a different amount of capacitance, if that's possible. So I'm going to put two of these capacitors in series, which should be closer to 100 picofarads rather than the 200. Um, because, as we know, resistors in series increase the resistance and resistors in parallel decrease the resistance capacitors work exactly the opposite capacitors in parallel increase the capacitance and in series reduce the capacitance so I'll plug him in now okay that works does it work through the thickness of paper yes it does okay so that's in the range of a hundred picofarads that's still more than they say should work but if I put okay that's so it's not sensing off of that so I put that underneath there okay I think I'm on to something but I do have to wait until the capacitors that I ordered of another assortment from eBay I actually ordered a couple of assortments one which has through hole capacitors down into the pico fair into the low pico ferrets and one that has uh, surface mounts i'm gonna hope that when those show up that they're labeled so that i can pull them out of the mailbag ahead of the mailbags um otherwise we wait in a few months but hopefully well things in the mailbags have been showing up in a month or so recently so we'll have to wait in the meantime i'll put this project on hold and you will be seeing these touch sensors show up again. There's the teaser for what my control panel is going to look like. Basically, it's going to control switches to the four, to these four tracks, and then one over there as well. Right. I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching.